First, we are going to test the gastrocnemius. You can feel the muscle belly right here. It originates on the posterior femoral condyles and it inserts the calcaneus via the Achilles tendon. I'm going to test this by asking the patient to go into plantar flexion, so like a gas pedal, and I'm going to resist the movement down. I want to hold up here because that's where it originates, or down here, but I don't want to be on the muscle belly. Push against me. One, two, three, four, five. Relax, and I would compare bilaterally. So go down like a gas pedal. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. This is the quadriceps femoris manual muscle test. It'll be testing the vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, medialis, uh, and then the vastus medialis and the rectus femoris. So the vastus later lateralis has an origin of the proximal intertrochanter line, the greater trochanter, the gluteal tuberosity, and the upper one half of the linea aspera, and it inserts on tibial tuberosity and its action is knee extension. The second one it tests is the vastus medialis, which originates the distal one half of the intertrochanter line and the medial portion of the linea aspera, and also the tendons of the adductor longus and magnus. It inserts on the tibial tuberosity, and its action is knee extension and patellar stabilization. Third, it tests the vastus intermedius, which originates on the anterior lateral portion of the upper two-thirds of the femur. It inserts to the tibial tuberosity and its actions in the extension. The last one is rectus femoris, which goes straight down. It originates on the AIIS and the groove located superior to the acetabulum and it inserts on the tibial tuberosity and its action is knee extension and hip flexion. So to test this, we're going to put our hand underneath the athlete's knee to prevent their knee from going into the table. We're going to ask them to go to a little bit of extension and we're going to hold them and tell them to not let us break. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Relax and compare bilaterally. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Okay, so now we're going to test the sartorius. The origin is the ASIS and the insertion is the pes anserine. Its action is knee flexion, internal tibial rotation, hip abduction, hip flexion, and hip external rotation. So we're going to have the patient look at the poo on the bottom of their shoe. We're going to have them like this. So we're going to be forcing them into hip abduction and then, um, no, at adduction and hip extension, hip internal rotation and knee extension. Okay. Don't let me break you. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Compare bilaterally. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Relax. All right, next we're going to talk about the semimembranosis and semitendinosis. The semimembranosis, its origin is the ischial tuberosity. Um, the insertion is the posterior medial portion of the tibia's medial condyle, and its action is knee flexion, internal tib rotation, hip extension, and hip internal rotation. The semitendinosis, um, the origin is ischial tuberosity, insertion is pesanserine, and its action is also knee flexion, internal tib rotation, hip extension, and hip internal rotation. So what you're going to do is have a patient knee flexion and then a little bit of external rotation. You're going to stabilize and then push them down. Don't let me break you, Will. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And same thing on this side. A little bit of external rotation. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Alright, next we got Bacchus Morris. Origin for the long head is the uh, ischial tuberosity, sacral tuberous ligament, uh, and the origin for the short head is the lateral lip of linear aspera and the upper two thirds of the supracondylar line. The insertion for the long head is the lateral, um, lateral tib condyle, when the, the insertion for the short head is the lateral uh, fib, fib uh, head. 
uh, the action um, for the long head is um, hip extension uh, and hip uh, external rotation. Um, and then for the short head, um, it's uh, knee flexion, external uh, side rotation. In the test this, you have a patient flex the knee and instantly rotate, stabilize the back, have them not break, and one, two, three, four, five, relax. Test bilaterally. One, two, three, four, five, and relax.